Now I'm going to show you as much of this as I can, but there's a million different things to show. This is a, a farm, but the way they decorated it is, is unreal. There's dinosaurs and monkeys and, and all kinds of stuff. So let's go around and take a look at some of this. This is awesome. Well, they even have mountain goats just climbing around. There's even a giraffe hiding around the corner. <laughs> this is a fun place. They even have a labyrinth made of hay. You enter in here and you gotta figure out how to get out. They have a little barn over here. We're serving some ice cream. Well, there's a little bit of everything for everyone in here. And it's a shop, it's a gift shop. Lots of stuff. <laughs> Super fun, that's for sure. And the name is Log Barn. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to another episode of This Is How I See It. And this episode is Kelowna. BC. Now the footage you just saw to start the video, actually I st spent the night last night in Enderby, a small town, and in between the small town of Enderby and M Armstrong uh, is a place called the Log Barn, and I just thought it was pretty cool, so I had to record that and show you that. So this video is going to show you everything to see and do in Kelowna, probably do some biking around and lots of parks and viewpoints and whatnot. Kelowna, BC. So this is our first viewpoint or lookout point, about a quarter way up the mountain and there is the city of Kelowna, British Columbia down below. So while I'm doing this hike up Knox Mountain I want to point a few things out that I noticed between the province of Alberta and here in British Columbia. One is the taxing. It's like three or five percent, I can't remember, in Alberta, and it's 15 percent here in BC. So it's a big, huge difference. Um, now, where I'm from in Ontario, it's also 15 percent, so, but you really notice it between Alberta and British Columbia. Uh, another thing is the views or the lookout points. Now, there's so much to see in Alberta, and there's so much to see in BC when it comes to beauty. Obviously, the Rockies in, in Alberta and everything here, the mountains are more green and lush. Maybe you can see behind me. Um, but the thing I notice when it comes to doing a road trip is you want to stop on the highway, take some photos and some videos. Now, Alberta is designed that you can pull over everywhere. Anytime there was a scenic view or something beauty, beautiful, boom, there was a place to pull over here in British Columbia. Now, it's been about two weeks. I've been to Revelstoke, been to Kamloops, Salmon Arm, a bunch of things in between. And I noticed anytime there was something beautiful to see, you could not stop for various reasons. One, they drive like idiots here. There's no way you can slow down to get a decent photo or video anyways. Uh, two, the lookout points 
are covered with trees. The places I saw that were like, oh my god, wow, I want to take a photo, you can't pull over at all, nowhere. Once you get up around the corner and there's actually a place to pull over, nothing to see at the rest stops. It's just all trees in the way. Also, I noticed when I went through Alberta, anywhere, whether it was a cliff or a highway, didn't matter, they did have some railings, but they were like steel rods and they were low. So you still, when you're driving, could look over, take photos, take videos. Here in BC, it's cement walls. Now, only about four feet tall, but when you're driving, you know, and I can't stop and I can't slow down because the idiot's behind me, you, you want to you know, make a video out the window. And all of my videos have this cement wall, half of the picture, and a bit of beauty above it. So yeah, let's keep going up that mountain to Knox Mountain. Well, here's another really nice view of the city. Ah, oh, don't you love when this happens? When three young girls smile and say, Hi, sir, can you take our picture? At the top of the mountain, I'm like, Sure, ladies, no problem. So, of course, I get down on my knee, I get the upper angle, I get the tree in the right corner, I get the girls on the left, tap the screen on the cell phone, get the shading just right, click, 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 boom. Here's four great photos for you. And they're like, Wow! Lovely, can we take a photo of you? And I'm like, no, it's okay. No, 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 let's do this. Okay, fine, no problem. I give them my cell phone. All you hear is click, 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 click. Like a million things. I said, put me in the left corner, put this tree in the right. Okay, click, 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 click. Then off we go. I look at my phone, you know, obviously I gave them my cell and not the camera because the younger generation doesn't know how to use a camera. No offense. They only know how to hit a button on a cell phone. So I go through them all. There must have been 26 photos. All crap. <laughs> Blurry, and I'm like missing an arm, and I've got half a head, and it was just like, oh my god. So, normally I just set up the tripod and do my own thing, but I thought I'd be nice, you know. <laughs> Hello. Well, even the dogs get to share in the view. They get their own park up on the cliff, overlooking the city. Welcome to Rotary Beach Park. Through these trees and over there is the north side in the downtown and then you can see way in the distance the bridge that carries over onto that side that is West Kelowna over there which I will explore towards the end of my visit here because then I'm heading all the way down that side into the sunset that is where Penticton BC is which is my next destination. Thank you. 
All right, everyone, today is a drizzle day. It is raining lightly. Um, I'm going to try, if possible, to complete Kelowna today. I'm gonna to walk along the waterfront. I mean, lots of its waterfront, obviously. Lots of water, lots of beaches, lots of parks. So I'm gonna cover most of that today, get to the downtown and see everything there as well. Hopefully leave by tomorrow because I'm heading to Penticton, BC next. And I'm gonna visit my uncle and his family that live in Penticton. So it's time for some fam time take a bit of a break, and then continue onwards towards Vancouver. Well, these guys might have a $3 million home, but they have a broken boat. You know, I gotta say something. I uh, know this is gonna be pretty obvious, but it's amazing how many rich people have signs, no trespassing, private property, keep off, keep out. They've got signs all over their houses, there's signs all over the docks. You know, and it's funny, because middle class or poor people would never have these signs anywhere, because they don't really care if you sit on their bricks for a moment if you're at the beach. For rich people, don't touch, don't look, don't breathe near my money. <laughs> we know it's private property. Why, well, you gonna jump the fence and swim your pool? You don't need a sign to let me know it's private. But thanks for sharing. <laughs> Downtown Kelowna. This downtown map of the uh, cultural district shows the design of the landscape. It's a really cute downtown actually. I drove around last night. So this guy's name is Ogopogo and this is Spirit of Sail. So downtown at the heart of the promenade is this sculpture and it's lit up at night with like electric blue colors. Guess what it's called? Bear. Well this is an interesting square here. It uh, can be used as a market, live events, but in the winter it is a skating rink. How do I know that? Ice surface closed when light is flashing. You can sit in there and have dinner. I believe Yerevan Armenia is the first time I saw these things, these outdoor bubbles.
Well, this entire area is called Waterfront Park with the hotels and the waterfalls and this little river, or little creek I should say. And I don't know if this is all man-made or what, but it's, I'm jumping over here. Super darn cute. Cute little sculptures on the beach. And this beach is called Tugboat Bay Beach. Money, 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 money. There's a nice view of Knox Mountain, which is what I hiked on my first day. Well, I gotta say this, downtown Kelowna definitely looks and feels like a resort town. This is called Rhapsody Plaza, and the fountains is called the Dolphins, appropriately. Nice city, nice waterfront, but you gotta have money. <laughs> Delta Hotels by Marriott. Fancy, fancy, fancy. So Bernard Avenue would be the main part of the downtown where the restaurants, pubs, and bars are. Bear 2010. The theme of the artwork is a grizzly bear, Kilona, being an English translation of the Okanagan word for female grizzly bear. I don't know if the camera will read it, but inside the polar bear is baby polar bears, some frogs, there are butterflies, flowers, leaves, oh, you see the little tree. There's basically everything to do with nature inside this polar bear. Let's look from underneath. I am now heading over the bridge to Kelowna West, directly into the sunlight. Can't see much. So I am now in West Kelowna. There's the main city, Knox Mountain, which I hiked at the beginning of the video. Kelowna itself. So there are quite a few wineries on the west part of Kelowna. I've passed three vineyards already.
Well, I gotta say, I don't feel like I'm in uh, Canada right now. I feel like I'm in Sicily. All the wine vineyards, the windy mountains. Sorry the video's jumping around. I'm trying to drive and not get in an accident and operate a DSLR camera at the same time.